Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, sorry I've been out for a while, it's been hectic. Um, keyboard was on the fritz today, it decided to work, so I'm still waiting for the part to come into the mail, but I really felt like I should be giving you guys updates and everything, and besides, you know, goofing off with other things. Um, I do actually have some things in here that are kind of going on that I'd like to show you and go over with you, but only a couple of things right now. What I do want to say, however, is at this point in time, I actually have 201 subscribers at this point. And what I really want to say is I really never thought that this channel would really go anywhere because I was just doing it for fun. But don't get me wrong, I really appreciate every one of you that subscribe to my channel and enjoy what I bring to you and the fact that I get to reach out to you that we can you know go back and forth with ideas keep in touch uh, learn from each other that's all I really cared about and that's what I'm going to continue to do regardless of how many subscribers I have I mean it was nice to see them growing growing things growing sorry um, <laughs> that the subscribers were growing and it was just nice to see. So, with that, I do want to say sincerely thank you, all 200 of you, for watching me. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and what was I going to get to? Oh, yeah. And the fact that I have reached 200 subscribers means I'm going to be doing some sort of giveaway. I just don't know what yet. So, i got to think about it, and I will get back to you of how I'm going to do that. But when I do, may the best subscriber win. Now, there's not much going on in here since the last time I did a March update. Um, I lost some flowers on the SLC. I think, I think there it is, right? Yeah, the SLC lost some flowers. Uh, I think I'm getting a new leaf on this rescue phalaenopsis from my mother. I'm trying to think what else. Um, there's some seedling plants up there that are doing all right. I think this right here is tobacco. This is a Herrera Odorata, a Retrocala. There's some lettuce in the back. Let's see what else we have on this side. Oh, before I forget. This right here is a Psychopsis orchid that I got in the mail recently. That was one of the few things that I did get over the time. And, wow, my thumb is in the way. Um, that's what happens when you don't have the stand either. Uh... It came in the it came in the mail. It was, a, it was from eBay. It was from I think Maui Orchids. I think or, I know the seller's name was Evelyn from eBay. Uh, the orchid came from California and went through the cold snap through the United States. So obviously the poor thing has got like some shriveled pseudo bulbs and uh, the whole nine yards. So it's not doing all that great. So Evelyn, I mean I know you were trying to do a great job. Um, packaging this orchid, but unfortunately this poor thing just didn't really do too well. Now this I got, I couldn't wait to do it because my computer was down, but I still had to do this, was these Pleione orchids. Now it's probably showing up backwards because I got the front camera on. Pleione orchids um, that I got, and I had to pot these guys up because if I didn't pot them up, wow, I'm so, I'm so out of sorts with the front camera, so it's a little different because it's like doing that whole selfie thing. Anyway, other than that, I mean, the Pleonies are set. I got them in there. I have some seeds that I got from, and I want to say thank you to Fifi Karina, or Corina Badia, uh, for the, your Jack in the Pulpit seeds. Um, I haven't potted them yet, but I intend to tonight. So I will get to them. I just haven't had time. But I want to say thank you very much, friend, because that I appreciate it. Um, let's see what else we got going on here today. I mean, other than that... Um, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a new uh, humidifier. I want to say that, you know, it was great that I bought the Bell & Howell one from eBay, and a lot of you did, but mine burned out. I don't know if it's because I got it running constantly, but it just burned out. So I had to get this one from CVS. It was a lot cheater. A lot cheap cheater. <laughs> you can tell it's been a long week. Cheaper. Um, I think down here you can see the giant... Uh, Zygopetalum is blooming out. Both spikes are blooming out, and it's got its little blooms out. I don't even know if I'm even getting this in. There we go. Now it's in. The It's really blooming out now. It has the room smelling really 
like of a powerful set of hyacinth. This thing is really big. It's got a couple more bloom spikes coming up. I still have to divide it at some point because it's getting really, really big. And then the other one that I have right here is still going strong. Uh, you can see the difference in the leaves and the flowers. This one has more, they almost look like, um, I guess, encyclia. And these, I don't know what you would call like that shape of a, leaf, of a leaf, but it's just completely different flowers. Those are more round. <sighs> I don't think anything else is really going on. I mean, the star fruit is huge. I think my, my nepenthes in the back are doing all right. It's just not much really going. I didn't have a lot going. I had the Pleonies and I had the Psychopsis come in the mail. And I just wanted to say again, thank you everyone for the, the 200 subscribers. That means a lot to me. Um, like I said, I didn't imagine 200 of you watching me. Not all at the same time, of course, but, you know, off and on. So, thank you again. And I will keep you updated on everything that goes on in here. And anything that, especially seed planting and stuff like that. Because that's all coming up too. Because springtime's coming around. So we'll get through with that, and, uh, oh, one more thing. Bill, I know you're watching. Bird of Paradise. And if you're wondering what that is, that's my homemade fungus gnat catcher because I had a big infestation in here that got way overwhelming. And I guess I'll show you the other Bird of Paradise. I know yours cooked up, and a lot of you out there are growing them and are in that Bird of Paradise challenge, but that's the status of mine. And I think that's it. So... Um, oh, and Fifi, I know you're still watching, or Karina, I know you're watching. There's the status of my little tree. It's in sphagnum moss, pure sphagnum moss. I cut all the branches off except one, and now it grew all the branches back. So I know it's a hardy little tree, so it'll, it'll hold up pretty good. Other than that, you guys have a great day, and if you live in the Northeast, I'm just like you right now, I'm dreading looking outside and seeing six inches of snowfall. I am just sick of snow. It was beautiful the last the other couple of days ago, and now I'm just, like, depressed. <laughs> That's all hell. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Bye.